Hello everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're gonna talk about some tips about a wireless access point. So what is a wireless access point? A wireless access point will transmit wireless signals and allows our IP devices to connect to our network through the wireless access point wirelessly. So basically, if we want to expand our network for further on, a wireless access point can go further away and act as the second entry point for our network. So when we set up a wireless access point, we have to know about it. A wireless access point will receive the power and data and then transmit and receive wireless signals. And then all the data will be uploaded to our router or our Ethernet switch or PoE switch, which is the exchange center for data. And then it will pack the data at that exchange center and load it up to the internet or an NVR or whatever secondary devices there are. So a wireless access point, usually if we're talking about two things it needs, it's power and internet or data for your, for your information. So is there a way for us to provide power and data with one solution? The answer is yes. We can use PoE technology. PoE technology transmits power and data through a single ethernet cable. So in this case, if, imagine we have a PoE switch in our home-based uh, network center. And if we want to expand our wireless connection further on, maybe like 50 meters out, maybe some regular routers can't really re provide us very high quality reception that far. So then we can use a wireless access point. We go 50 meters away and we place the wireless access point here. Then we get a 50 meter, 50 meter ethernet cable. In this case, a cable like this. So if this cable is 50 meters, means we can connect the wireless access point to our PoE switch. So once they're connected, the wireless access point will provide a secondary entry point to enter the whole network system. Then well, we can connect to the network even if we're 50 meters away and we don't have to worry the signal is going to be bad. So that's basically how our wireless access point works in a network. Now let's talk about the power and the data. The power, well, wireless access points don't need a, a lot of power, but you have to make sure at least your power sourcing equipment, which is this PoE switch in this case, has enough power to provide it. So we have to make sure the power consumption is enough for this little tiny device. And then it's the bandwidth. The bandwidth is a little bit more important because if we don't have enough bandwidth and too much people access the network through this access point, it will cause a traffic which will mean that there's gonna be latencies, that our data will not be transmitted to our exchange center fast enough. So usually we would try to go aim for like gigabit, gigabit bandwidth access points. This means it has like a maximum access speed of a thousand megabits per second, which is usually enough for multiple users to access the network at the same time. And one more advice. When we're using a wireless device like this wireless access point, the most ideal environment to install it is where there's not a lot of obstacles around it, especially when it's like metal objects because we want the wireless signals to spread out freely as possible. So where it is wide open, maybe where there's less walls and concrete or metal that will interfere the signal, that would be the best. So with all these devices in mind, now you're gonna think how the connection would be. Well, it's gonna be really easy. Now let me show you guys. First of all, we're gonna have to power up our PoE switch. The PoE switch will provide the power and data for the wireless access point. So now we have the power on. The PoE switch is really convenient to use. This is our fast cabling's four port PoE unmanaged switch. This means this PoE switch is really easy to use. Unmanaged means when we plug the ethernet cables in, we don't need to configure anything. It will automatically provide power and data to the ethernet cable then to our IP devices on the other end. So these four ports are PoE ports. These two are uplink ports. The uplink ports are usually connected to like the internet or an NVR, so it doesn't really need PoE features. Meaning these two ports will eliminate the PoE feature and provide higher connection speed. So now we're going to connect our internet to these uplink ports, which is our ethernet cable connected to the main network. Once connected, 
Now this PoE switch has the source of the power and data. We're gonna connect our ethernet cable to one of these four ports, which either one is okay. And then this ethernet cable will be ready to connect to any IP device that is PoE enabled. So we're gonna connect it to our wireless access point. You can see one ethernet cable powers it up, the indicators are on, and this network sign is on as well. So meaning this device is currently able for accessing our network wirelessly. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.